Uh, take us back to agenda item two here, the public forum. I, just, I have a little thing I'm going to read here. Uh, it's a statement from me as chairman of the board. So, I'm in my sixth year on the board of selectmen, and during my tenure, the accomplishments of this board include protected the town's financial state during the most significant economic crisis since the Great Depression without dramatic impacts on taxes, services, or personnel. Carefully controlled the growth of the town operating budget, providing all residents with continued outstanding service at reasonable cost, resulting in taxing residents cumulatively over $4 million less than possible under our Proposition 2.5 limit. We executed one of the very few budget underrides ever undertaken in the state of Massachusetts, guaranteeing for taxpayers that an additional $1.25 million in annual excess levy saved through our control of spending would not be reversed. We designed and implemented a funding process to begin to address the town's substantial long-term pension and other benefits liabilities and thereby prevent a future fiscal crisis. We gained approval of a new school. We gained approval of a new library. We gained approval of a new DPW facility. The board took control of marathon number distribution for the benefit of the town, resulting in over $400,000 in funds raised to date for local charitable organizations. We formed and led a multi-town collaboration group that was a key contributor to defeating a proposed Milford Casino. We advanced the revitalization of downtown, which is on its way to being the vibrant, engaging location we all hoped it would be. We purchased several important parcels in town to protect against further development and maintain the rural feel our residents value. We purchased the last two large parcels on Hayden Road to enable future town uses beyond the new school. This board advanced both the town trail network and the expansion of sidewalks identified by residents as key priorities. We developed a brand new town manager into one of the finest professionals in the Commonwealth. This board directed a search process for a new police chief and made the final selection on an individual who's proven to be an outstanding hire. We established a permanent building committee and created a capital asset management plan to ensure the town structures are constructed as efficiently as possible and that all town assets are properly cared for. This board continued to work with Legacy and other large developers in town to accommodate their plans without destroying the town's character. And last but not least, this board oversaw a spectacularly successful 300th anniversary celebration, which as I touched upon, I know because I attended most of the events. So I'm sure there are other significant activities that I forgot simply because there have been so many. I have lived in this town for almost 20 years and I can recall no other board that has accomplished so much in so many areas and with so little fanfare or even positive acknowledgement. This group has been visionary, thoughtful and productive in advancing our town based upon the priorities set by our fellow residents. The work you see done at public meetings is the very small tip of a very large iceberg. We've done all of this relatively quietly, with great discretion and no self-promotion, and as a result, Hopkinton has come to take for granted excellence in local government. With all those achievements and more in 10 years of service to the town, and having spent almost half my life in some form of public service, I have decided to focus my time and energy on my family and other productive activities, and so I will not be running for re-election in May. I'm making this announcement now because I'd like to challenge a new generation in town to step forward and I want to leave plenty of time for those people to make their decision and have a chance to present their vision to the voters. I look forward to a competitive election and to new members of our town leadership who will build upon this board's success and can continue to advance the evolution of Hopkinton in an equally positive and successful manner. With that, the chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Good night, everybody.